Hello, Nick. How are things? Not so good. Enough to make an honest man turn to crime. Oh, yeah? Maybe this is a turning point. Seen the latest issue of the World of Art? No, I haven't got around to it yet. Take a look at this. Among art treasures of North America, which have not received the interest they warrant from connoisseurs, is a statue of the Madonna owned by Joseph Salinas, who lives on a ranch near Madeira, California. This Madonna of the desert is carved in ivory and bejeweled in the manner of the best craftsmen of Florence and Madrid during their greatest period. Do you realize what a genuine Renaissance Madonna would be worth? Ha! <laughs> King's ransom. Maybe enough to get the queen out of hot, too. That is, assuming it's an original. The conquistadors and padres brought many masterpieces with them to the New World. And one of them might have turned up among the descendants of the early settlers. Think there's a chance that it might be an original? A long chance. Long chance. Well, long chances have kept me in champagne and caviar. I think I'll run up the Salinas Ranch and take a gander at that statue. What should I look for to see if it's genuine? Examine the carving, especially the coronet for detail and delicacy. Take a good look at the stones. They should be flawless. If those stones are genuine, I don't understand why nobody's lifted it before this. Well, who would expect to find a masterpiece in a small town like that? That's true. If they don't know what they've got, maybe not even Salinas himself, Noir might be able to buy that statue pretty cheap. That would be the easy way. Yeah. But suppose he doesn't go for it. Well, then you could do a job for me like you did on the Cellini goblet. Hey, come off to Madeira. Good luck. Somebody home after all. Well, I knocked and called and couldn't raise anyone, so I tried the back door. We were up in the hayloft. Pete here was taking a snooze and I was helping him. Oh, while others were helping themselves. Oh, I beg your pardon. Beg the Madonna's pardon. She don't like to go gallivanting around with strangers. Oh. Well, I was examining the artwork and the gems. I was just stepping out on the porch to see if I could catch the refraction of the sunlight on some of these surfaces. I bet you were. You uh, seem to know something about jewels. Well, yes, I'm sort of a collector. There's an article about your Madonna in one of the National Art magazines. That's why I'm here. Say, aren't you afraid to leave her alone there, unguarded? Not at all. She's been there on the altar for many years since my grandfather's time. Nothing in harm. Oh, I understand. You're a man of faith. 
It's a very rare quality these days. Joe's got the faith. I got a club. <laughs> Don't mind, Pete. He always curdles a little when his siesta's been disturbed. Well, who doesn't? Say, would you consider selling her? I'm afraid not. Give you a good price. The answer's no. Madonna's not for sale. She belongs to my friends and to my family. Well, sorry we can't make a deal. Let's deal her back where she belongs. I can understand your friend's concern. That's a valuable piece. I envy you, Mr. Salinas. Oh, my name's Julian, Nick Julian. Glad to know you. I'm sorry we can't do business. Oh, that's all right. Well, I got a long drive back to town. Goodbye. And he just wanted to see the sunlight on your jewels. I wonder if he thinks I'm as dumb as I look. Thanks for giving me so much of your time. Drop in again when you're up this way. Right. Seems like a nice guy. Ah, oh, that guy could give lessons to an eel. Pete, why do you always think the worst about everybody? Joe, if you keep looking for rain, you don't mind if it pours. But if you're expecting sunshine, you're going to get caught with your umbrella down. You're just an old sourpuss. Hiya, Legs. Didn't take you long to get over here. You, uh, told me on the phone to hurry over. And your slightest whim is a command. Sounds nice. You must have been reading a book. Don't be primitive. You know, the only book I read is one about figures and balances. Some figures can throw you off balance. No, Legs. If you could level with a guy, I might fall in love with you. Why complicate a nice little friendship like ours with love? Guess I'm just an old sentimentalist. I'll make like a host, Nick. Bourbon and soda. Right. Gonna give you a chance to boost the balance in your favorite book, Legs. Good. I'll play a no worthless weight on a gal. There's a Renaissance Madonna on a ranch near Madeira. It belongs to a guy by the name of Selena, sort of a family heirloom. I know a dealer down in Mexico give me a good price for it. Hank Davenport's making a replica like he did in the other art jobs. It's up to you to make the swap. Sounds like elevating work. What kind of a gent is Mr. Salinas? Oh, he's one of those corny golden rule guys. I don't believe he ever met a real woman in his life. You'll know how to handle him, you know, kid him along a little, romance him a little. Remember, I said a little. I never get my men and my Madonna's mix. I'll be waiting for you up the cabin. As soon as you make the swap, we'll head for Mexico. Just a minute. We're getting to Mexico a little bit too fast. Let's count our chickens while they're still in the hatch. Let's cut the riddles. It's the cut I'm talking about. Mine. You're usually taken care of? Only because we have an understanding beforehand. A girl has to eat and dress these days, and I'm down to my last dozen nylons. You get your usual cut. Uh-uh. It'll have to be more this trip. After all, it's my alabaster neck that's being stuck out. Maybe even as far as to Hatchapi. And that's where they sent bad little girls for good. <laughs> all right, Legs, I'll see that Santa brings you some extra nylons. Here's to Santa. Pretty good. I can't tell if you've hit it on the nose until you get the paint on. Don't worry about the coloring. I'll match that. When'll it be ready? Well, a couple of days. It'll take that long to set the stones and age the paint. All right, see you in a couple of days. Okay. Good morning. I'd like to look. Good day, madam. Something like this? Well, hardly. Uh, I'd rather see something in a uh, Louis XIV chair. Right over here, madame. This is a Louis XIV chair. Oh, my. Isn't it rather small? Well, Louis XIV wasn't a very big man. Wasn't he? Well, <laughs> it isn't just what I wanted. 
I'll be back some other day. Au revoir. Good day, madame. Still dishing out the malarkey, Hank. When did they let you out? Two weeks ago. I got three months off for good behavior. <laughs> Can you imagine Tony French getting time off for good behavior? No, but it might be a good idea to stay on it. How's about letting me peddle some of your stuff till something opens up? I'm not working on anything just now. You mean you're not going to help me out? Sorry, Tony, but I have my own problems. I've been getting that from everybody, Hank. I'm tired of getting a brush off. Now, wait a minute, Tony. I've been waiting just for minute, three no. years, Hank. I've been taking beatings from screws and cons alike. Now I'm going to start dishing it off. Well. What's this? Something I'm working on for a customer. Is that so? Madonna owned by Joe Salinas. Lives on a ranch near Madeira. Bejeweled in the manner of the best craftsmen of Florence and Madrid. Something for a customer, huh? It couldn't be for Mr. Julian who just left here, could it? Maybe he stumbled onto something big. Maybe I can horn in on it. I've owed him something for a long time. For five years I worked for that stir-crazy mug. And just because I happened to get into a jam, he doesn't even stake me to a good mouthpiece. You didn't just happen to get in a jam. You crabbed a big jewel job because you shut off your mouth to a Jane. Everybody pops off once in a while, don't they? That's no reason for me to go to San Quentin. You were lucky to go there. Nick told me you'd have gone to the Undertakers if he'd have gotten a hold of you. I'm not afraid of Nick, Julian. I know a lot of boys who said they weren't afraid of Nick. But they all ended up in the city morgue. Maybe you're right, Hank. It isn't a good idea for the Bush Leaguers to try to play with the Majors. Don't even say you saw me. Hiya, Buck. How are you, Legs? Better and better. Take it easy, will you, Nick? Hey, who copped that? That looks like a real heist. Nice artwork, eh, Buck? Yeah, them rocks ought to add up to plenty geetis. You'd have fooled me. You mean it ain't real? <laughs> Hank Davenport's pace could almost pass a pawnbroker. Take care of that, baby. All set? Mm-hmm. Well, you should be all set. You understand about the coil wire? After the lessons you gave me, I could take a car apart. Get the cosmetics? In the case behind the seat. I'll be on tap until you get back. Try to make it tonight, will you? Tomorrow morning at the latest. Mr. Julian, I'm not accustomed to staying overnight at the ranches of strange men whose Madonnas I swipe. Well, look, don't be so sure of yourself. You may not get a chance to lift till after they're asleep. Remember that guy, Pete. He'd be suspicious of his own mother. Don't sell Selena's short. He's got an angle that people go for. Don't let it throw you. Just remember, this is big time. If you fall down on it, you don't play in my yard anymore. Don't worry, Nick. The Madonna is practically yours. What's all this mumbling in your beard about? According to my book, the whole world is wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I haven't got time to change it this afternoon. Now, look. Why do we raise that fruit? He ain't it. And a poor little bug comes along and eats it, and you kill him. Now, is that justice? You'll get the bugs to pay for what they will call the whole thing square. Hey, what we need is poison for that kind of bug. What's a girl like that doing around here? 
That's just a bunch of trouble looking for a place to light. Hello there. Could I speak to your mama, please? Yeah, sure. Look out now, Joe. There's only two of us. How do you do? I was wondering if I could use your phone. My car's all down the road, and I'd like to call a mechanic. The nearest mechanic is in Madeira. That's quite a ways off. Oh. Maybe I could help. Well, that's very kind, but I hate to trouble you. Well, no trouble at all. I've been looking for a chance to get away from Pete. Let's look at it. All right. So the ointment reaches out and grabs the fly. Lovely country you have around here. Oh, that's swell. That is, if you like crimson sunsets and pink dawns, honeysuckle in the spring, poinsettias in the fall. I long. love them. But you sound as if you don't. Oh, sure I do. But I was going to have it all changed if you didn't approve. Now, take the honeysuckle, for example. I bet a girl like you'd prefer perfume. Perfume? Well, the stuff you're wearing didn't come off a honeysuckle bush. <laughs> Sir, I'll have you know I'm scented with exotic love. Put out at $25 an ounce by the cosmetic company I represent. Well, I bet your company does a good business. What well, makes you think so? Well, there shouldn't be much sales resistance to gals like you peddling exotic love. You don't think so? I bet you could even sell peace some bubble bath. <laughs> sure you're not out of gas? Well, I filled up just a little while ago. Monica's a nice name. I like it. Are you clairvoyant? Your registration slip was showing. Oh. Yeah, not hard to find the trouble here. The clip on the coil wire came loose. Is that hard to fix? Yeah, you'll have to get another wire. Well, uh, where can I get one? Madeira. Oh, that's fine. And how do I get to Madeira? You won't have to. We'll send Pete after. All right, now, Pete, don't forget what you're going after. A coil wire. You want I should write it down? Maybe you'd better go yourself. Oh, no, I gotta stay here and get some refreshments for Miss Dale. She looks refreshed enough to me. You know what? I don't think Pete likes me. Oh, Pete doesn't like anybody. I think his mother was frightened by a human being. Come on, let's have those refreshments. <laughs> oh, fine. Would you like some wine? I'd love it. Make yourself at home. I'll be right back. All right. Give me a hand here. All right. Oh, I'm afraid you've gone to a lot of trouble. No, we don't get much company up here. Well, you must have known that chocolate cake was my particular weakness. Maybe I am clairvoyant. Your success. What beautiful flowers. Did you grow them yourself? Yeah, we put them there for the Madonna, but she isn't here today. I wish you could see her. She's very beautiful. You talk as if she were a real person. Well, when you feel the influence of something that helps you and makes you try to be a little better, that thing is real, isn't it? Yes, I... I guess you're right. Where is the Madonna? I loaned it to some friends of mine, the Baravellis. Their daughter's getting married today, and they thought the Madonna would bring good luck. How nice. I wish I could have seen her. Yeah, no reason why you can't. I'm going over to the reception to pick her up as soon as Pete gets back. Oh, well, I'm afraid I'll have to leave just as soon as my car's fixed. Well, it'll take quite a while to fix it. We'll let Pete do it while we're gone. Oh, <laughs> Pete will just love that. I see you know him already. Well, I, uh, I better clean up. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll go down to meet Pete.
I got it. Oh, thanks, Pete. To show my appreciation, I'm going to let you install it. It'll take a couple of hours, won't it? A couple of hours? Why, well, you're crazy. Oh, sure, sure. You'll have to take off the uh, distributor and the coil. And and... What's the matter with you, Joe? You talk like you blew a gasket. You'll have to pardon me, Monica. Pete here isn't much of a mechanic. I'll have to explain it to him. Come on, Pete. Hey, look, Pete, I'm trying to stall so I can take it to the Baravelli's. I know what you're trying to do. Between the bugs and the bimbos, I'm going batty. Now, be a good guy and make it look like a big job. Oh, sure. I can grind the valves and take out the rear end and jack up the motor and shove a new chassis under it. And hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. I think Pete understands this. now, don't you, Pete? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll take about two hours. Maybe an hour more, or maybe an hour less. One way or the other, it'll be about two hours. Oh, well, thanks, Pete. I'll be very grateful. Come on, let's go. Three more. That's a plenty for me. <laughs> what are you crying, Mama Paravelli? You lose a daughter, but you get a son. Never in my own life. Am I so happy? <laughs> now you're race ring, she's a boss. So I got the two more. That's a plenty for me. <laughs> oh, here she is, Monica. She's beautiful, Joe. Isn't she? Hey, it's a Joe. Oh, sure. Hey, Mama, everybody. It's a Joe Salina. Hello, Papa. Hi, everybody. Folks, this is Monica Dale. <laughs> How do you do? Let's know you. You must meet the bride. It's my daughter. She changed her name from Baravelli to Bacigalupi. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you every happiness. Thank you. Meet my Enrico. Welcome to our wedding line. Oh, thank we you. got a drink to the bride and groom. Joe, Monica, everyone. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, good Good night. 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 Good uno, due, tre, seven, five, ten, ten bambini. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You got a lot of trouble. Why got the trouble? You got a ten bambini and only two strings on the fiddle. Oh, that's all right, Beppo. Only two strings. Well, I fix. Now I only got one string. That's a plenty for me. <laughs>
Are you all right, Monica? She must have been burned bad. I get some oil and bandage. No, don't bother. It doesn't even hurt. Why, I... I'm not even burned. She got no blister. Not one mark. It's like a miracle. Madonna. I can't believe it. If the Madonna can save you from being burned to death, she can save herself, too. Well, what about the drink? Come on, everybody. Thanks, Robert, uh, but I better get Monica back to the ranch. Well, maybe it's the best. She have a pretty bad fright. Yes, I'll get you coat, Monica. Thank you. Thank you for the Madonna, Joe. You're welcome. Goodbye, Monica. Come again. Thank you. You've been very kind. We'll see you soon. Adieu, Joe. Goodbye, Monica. <laughs> You've had quite a shock. Maybe you better stay overnight at the ranch until you get your bearings. Oh, I'll be all right, Joe. Except for my dress. I've got one you can borrow that used to belong to my best girl. <laughs> well, Joe, I thought you were the bachelor type. It was my mother's dress. She used to wear it the fiestas. Of course, it might be a little long. That'll put me right in style. What is a jumpy about? Who's jumpy? Not me. Well, I just figured Monica would be back by now. You're lucky if she comes back at all. That's what you get for sending a dame on a big job. I suppose I should have sent a mug like you to bust in with a gun and make that statue so hot that I couldn't peddle it. Like Tony used to do before I got Monica. Okay, Nick, you know best. Don't you forget it. I make big dough because I use my head instead of a heater. Sent Monica on this job because it needs class, and that's what she's got. Sure, Nick, sure. But with a dame on the job, she's liable to grab the loot and take a powder. She wouldn't be the first, you know. She'd be the first to take a powder on me. And the last. Oh, Nick! Hello, Pete. Your bad penny's back. Well, what happened to you? You look as pale as a she-ghost. Uh, there was an accident at the Baravelli's. The altar caught on fire and Monica's dress got burned. You're lucky the Madonna was there. Well, I took the two hours, like you said, and fixed the bus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whose car is that over there? Boggs, a fellow is looking for work. He's going to sleep in the barn and help us spray the trees. Ah, oh, good. We can use them. Monica's going to stay here tonight. That means one more cup of water in the soup. I guess you wouldn't know what to do without Pete. Aside from the times, I don't know what to do with him. Come on, I'll show you your room. Here's your dinner dress. Joe, I can't wear it. It's a keepsake. It'll be all right. Thanks. See you later. Come and get it, folks, or don't let me hear any more about it. Joe, there's Jim Blake, the man I was telling you about. How are you, Jim? Glad to have you with us. Thanks. Oh, come on in and join the party, Miss Dale. This is Jim Blake. How do you do? How are you? My bad Penny's looking a little better. Uh, well, thanks, Pete. Now, pitch in, folks. If you don't see what you want, we ain't got it. Uh. You around here before, Jim? I haven't worked any place since I've been out of service. Joe was in the service. You saw a lot of action. 
He got so badly cracked up, he could hardly walk. But, Joe, I didn't know that. Well, he looks pretty fit now. I was pretty lucky, and I had a lot of good friends. Yeah, there were the Baravellis and the Bachigalupis and the Madonna. In a short while, he was as good as ever. Now, Madonna has quite a reputation around here. Well, I'm very much on religion myself, but I can appreciate the way other people feel about it. Stick around here a while, and you'll find out why. The Madonna protects her children and herself against anything harmful. What's the matter, Monica? Aren't you hungry? Well, I... I don't feel very well. I... I guess I had more of a shock than I realized. What you need is a good night's sleep. You'll be okay in the morning. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Well, I guess I better hit the hay, too. I want to get an early start tomorrow. Okay, Jim. Good night. Good night. Good night, Jim. Well, not only do I have to cook for everybody, I have to eat for them, too. she might help you. Oh, I'll be all right. I'll put her here. After all, she did help you this afternoon. But she's, she's so precious. She'll be in good hands. Well, thanks. Good night. Good night. Sell Salinas short. He's got an angle that people go for. Don't let it throw you. Just remember, this is big time. If you fall down on it, you don't play in my yard anymore. Where are you a bit, sister? What are you doing here? The same thing you are, sister. I guess we both came here with the same idea. What are you talking about? That statue. Where is it? What'd you do with it? 
That you, Monica? Go on, talk to him. No funny business. Yes, Joe. I just, uh, I, I just couldn't get to sleep. What were you doing, talking to yourself? Well, I, I guess I was counting sheep out loud. You don't look like you've been to bed at all. Well, I, I haven't, Joe. I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep. You know, a doctor in the Army hospital told me insomnia is a state of mind that keeps you from relaxing. I found out that if I say a few words to the Madonna, like a, like a prayer, I can relax. I'm afraid I'm not the praying type. Neither was I. When I got back from overseas, I was cracked up, beaten, cynical. I certainly didn't have any prayers left in me. No faith, no belief in anything, nothing to live for. I know, Joe. That's the way I've always felt. I still feel that way. Yeah, it's pretty tough, all right. Worse than broken bones or lost limbs, much worse. It's like a straitjacket around your mind that keeps tightening up all the time. It's funny, me telling somebody else to have faith. Me, Joe Salinas. Here I am doing just that. Telling you what got me out of a wheelchair and made me walk again, want to live all over. See, the doctors had practically given up all hope. It wasn't just physical, it went deeper than that, much deeper. Pete knew and my friends knew. Simple people always know. They kept praying to the Madonna. All of a sudden, she seemed to answer and to become everything I'd lost or needed. Mother, sister, sweetheart, all at once. It was like a crisis I went through. When it was over, I was cured. You've had a remarkable experience, Joe. But I can't help thinking that you might have gotten better anyway. I've tried to find an explanation, but I can't. Any more than you can explain why you weren't burned this afternoon or why the statue wasn't destroyed. Why try to figure it out? Why not accept it as something great and wonderful and let it go at that? I'd like to, Joe. But people just don't believe in saints and Madonnas anymore. Well, maybe that's why there's so much suffering and unhappiness and violence all over the world. People haven't got anything to turn to. That's why they're getting desperate. You don't have to believe in the Madonna, but you do have to believe in something before you can find any goodness in yourself or anybody else. I haven't found much goodness in myself, or anybody else. Well, maybe you had to come here to find it. To find it? In me? You don't know me very well. I know you're confused. There's a conflict going on inside you. Remember, only good people have conflicts. The bad ones aren't bothered by anything. Joe, you've got me all wrong. You're a swell guy and... I can't go on fooling you any longer. Joe, I'm, I'm cheap. I'm no good. I came here to... As far as I know or care to know, you came here to get your car fixed. I believe the Madonna brought you here. So you could find her and find yourself. You see, to me, that means peace of mind. Forgiving other people as well as ourselves. We all have skeletons in our closets, and... Faith helps us to close the door on them and start all over again. You make it sound so easy, Joe. I wish I could believe like you do. It's not so hard. Why don't you try? You better get some rest. Good night, Monica.
Good morning, Pete. Good afternoon. What do you think you're doing? I thought I'd get lunch started. Well, you've got it started. Now I'll finish it. Too many cooks gather no moss. <laughs> Swell air outside. And you want me to take it? I get your subtle hint, Pete. Good morning. Well, how do you feel? Oh, really grand. Well, I gotta clean up. I'll see you at lunch. All right. Jim, I'm leaving right after lunch, and I'd like to talk to you. What's on your mind? About that statue. You were right, Jim. I did come here to try to steal it. But I just couldn't, not after I... Yeah, I heard what happened. Well, not only that, but last night I had a talk with Joe and... Pretty convincing guy, that Joe. He convinced me that there's something about that Madonna. Something that gives it power to help people who believe in it. And something that will hurt people who try to harm it. You know, it's beginning to affect me the same way. I want to believe that. Oh, but you... Because if I thought you'd try to steal that statue after I left, I'd have to tell Joe about you. You don't have to do that. I'm not very bright. I know you get burned if you play with lightning. No, I'm pulling out myself right after the dusting is over. Don't worry about me. Take care of yourself and good luck. All right, Jim. Stir crazy dame. You're really making up for that breakfast you missed. Oh, I've never been so hungry in all my life. They say a good appetite comes from a clear conscience. You're right, Jim. Leave your conscience here, Jim. You and I will go out and flourish more bugs. I'll be leaving this afternoon, Pete. I guess you won't be sorry to see me go. Well, you'll be coming back. And remember, if your car ever breaks down in our vicinity, Joe and I'll fix it for you in a couple hours. Uh, goodbye, Jim. So long. I hope we will see you again sometime. Of course you will. After all, I do have to bring your mother's dress back. Any excuse will do as long as you don't forget us. I won't, Joe. I'll get my coat and bag. I'll bring your car around. Thanks. Looks like you were right, Buck. I was crazy to send a dame on a job like this. Well, you could jump in your car and go over there. I just hope she ain't taking a powder like I said. Looks like you were wrong, Buck. Here she comes now. Hey, legs run out of gas? Nick, I've got to talk to you. Okay. I want to talk to you alone, Nick. Take a walk, Buck. Been to a masquerade? Belongs to Joe's, I mean, Mr. Selena's mother. We'll settle for Joe. Go on from there. Nick, yesterday I would have been afraid to face you with what I have to say. But today I'm not. Why, Legs? What's happened since yesterday? Well, Joe had loaned the statue to some friends for a wedding. We went over there. But when I tried to take the statue, my sleeve caught fire. And suddenly, the, the altar was in flames The Madonna was destroyed? The altar was burned to a crisp. But the Madonna wasn't even scorched. And, Nick, my arm wasn't burned. Well, they say that miracles do happen. Then we went back to the ranch. I was... I was afraid of the Madonna after what had happened. But I got a hold of it again. Even put it in the car. But I... I couldn't sleep and... And I had a talk with Joe. About the Madonna, I suppose. About the Madonna, Nick. He told me how it had cured him of being a cripple. What his faith in it and the faith of his friends had done for him. Oh, Nick, I... I can't explain what's happened to me, but... As Joe talked, it... 
It was as if his belief sort of changed me into somebody else. Somebody I should be. So you got religion. I told you to look out for that angle, didn't I? It's no angle, Nick. I wasn't the only one affected. There was a guy there trying to lift the Madonna and... Guy? What was his name? Oh, a, a fellow named Jim Blake. What's he look like? Well, he, he's young, blonde, and nervous, always cracking his knuckles. Tony French. So he's out of San Quentin and trying to cross me up just like you crossed me up. That's not true, Nick. Where's that statue, the copy? I buried it. I tell you, Nick, there's something about there's it There's something about it that's cost me a fortune. You may kid yourself that you got religion. What you really got is a yen for that Selena sap. <sighs> I'll get that statue. I tried to play it smooth and smart. I tried to do the job without anybody getting hurt. Now I'll do it the sure way. That is if Tony French hasn't beat me to it already, but... Nick, I tell you, if you try to steal that statue, you're the one that will be hurt. I'm the one that'll be hurt. <laughs> Keep an eye on her. If she tries to get out of here, cut her down. How's it going, Jim? I'm just about out of dust. I better go into the barn and get some. There ain't any left in the barn. Somebody got to drive into town. I'll go. My car's out. Get about 100 pounds. I think this will cover it. Okay. What's the matter, Joe? That gal on your mind? I got a lot on my mind, Pete. Okay, Nick. No need to get sore. I pull a little job. I'll cut you in for half of it. Oh, you're gonna cut me in on my own deal, eh? You're too kind, Tony boy. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it, Tony? On the seat. All right, back up. Keep going. That's it, that's it. Well, I should thank you, Tony. You did the actual work for me. Now they'll be looking for a mug like you. Well, you dumb fink. You let the dame cross you up. What do you mean? This is a phony, you...
He got it. What happened at the ranch? I didn't get it at the ranch. You're a smart babe. You fooled Tony, you fooled Salinas, and now you're trying to fool me. About what? Look, you little tramp. Tony has spat it all over the floor of a canyon. You want to join him? Or do you want to tell me what you did with the original? I told you what I did with the original, Nick. I left it on the altar and I buried the phony. But, but wait a minute. I, I was excited and in a hurry. I, I could have gotten the statues mixed up. I've considered that possibility. It's the only reason why you're still breathing. Tell you what we're going to do. We'll make a little trip back to the ranch. It'll be after dark when we get there so your friend Joe won't disturb us. Then you're going to do a little digging. You're going to find that statue where you say you buried it, but the coroner's going to find you there. Let's get started. You realize everything involved here. Let's not have any trouble, eh? Yeah? All right, get busy. But Nick, I tell Go you... Go on, dig. It's gone. Somebody must have taken it. I mean, you never buried it. All right, legs, this he is it. He buried it, all right, but I took it. Why do people who steal think other people are stupid? I was watching him when she buried the statue this morning. Joe, I thought I was burying the replica. I couldn't take the real Madonna, not after... I believe you, Monica. No one can steal that Madonna. I'm gonna put an end to that legend right now. Get the statue and get it fast. No, you don't. You like to shoot people, Nick. You like to shoot them where it hurts. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you where it hurts, Nick. Where's that statue? Where is it? You all right, Pete? I'm all right. I can take care of myself. Let's take him into the house. Hey, take it easy, will you? That hurt. I'll hold still. It doesn't amount to... One, then one, then one, you're just making a, a fuss Pete, over nothing. I can take care of it. I... Uh, thanks, Monica. Okay, Pete. I just called the sheriff. He'll be right over. Good. I'll be ready. What do you mean, Monica? After all, I did come here to steal the Madonna. Don't you remember what I said last night? You told me that she brought me here, so I could find myself. Have you? Yes, Joe. 